well, we've got some corporate support, we've got some government support, and extraordinarily useful in this project, we've got an expert team from Harvard University, uh, Monash and Melbourne academics are involved, and in the case of my group, CEDA, Committee for Economic Development of Australia, our membership have ranked water as the priority for reform in Australia. Number one. There are two purposes for this project. Um, one is addressing an Australian set of issues and an Australian audience, and the second purpose is to address, to take the Australian experience both as it's evolved and as it's evolving and take it to an international audience who look to Australia as the world leader in water management in an arid environment to show them, to, to tell them in a very clear way what the enormous positive impact of the uh, competition policy and the reforms deriving from that have been in the water sector to say to them, look, you've had this huge impact of, you've had this huge climate change in Australia. Uh, there've been a lot of negative effects, but the institutional framework you've put in place has really helped uh, mitigate these effects. Australia is in a very critical situation uh, in its water resources. Uh, in the southeastern Australia, key catchments of the Murray-Darling Basin have suffered the, the driest 13 years in re uh, on record, and there's a, a probability that this is a shift in climate that we must insure ourselves against. So a very great deal of stress on water resources, and you can see it in the uh, changes in the Murray-Darling Basin and in the massive infrastructure investments in our cities. Internally, I think there's a, there's a new Water Act. Uh, there's a lot of changes. The environment is now uh, something which Australia believes needs much more attention. And so the world is again going to be looking at Australia. How are you dealing with this? And so it's, there's a part of this that is going to be trying to provide, we hope, good advice to federal governments, state governments who are engaged in this new reform effort, but also to the international community on this is how Australia is going about it. Australia's got a great track record in economic reform. Whether it's financial institutions, as we saw in the global crisis, Australia did well. If you look at the utilities reform, electricity, gas, We've reformed those, we've increased productivity, we're a much more affluent society. Now in water, some of the thinking, research, policy development that's taken place in Australia is probably one in, at the best in the world. It's very, very good. However, the application of this is another matter. And now as we're dealing with the consequences of climate change, of drought, of changing patterns of, of rainfall, it's really critical that we try to treat water as a scarce economic resource, get the incentives right, get water to where it can be the most valuable thing possible. Mm -hmm.